As England prepare for Australia and Shane Warne, it's appropriate that this month's extract from the MCC Masterclass comes from Richie Benno. Here he demonstrates the techniques that made him a great leg spinner. Well, that's a decent start. But now, let's just have a look at, at uh, your grip for a start. The, the whole basis of bowling a leg break is that the ball, as it's going down the pitch, needs the seam to be rotating in that direction. I just turned around to get the red. So it needs to be, the seam needs to be turning anti-clockwise, going from leg to off. And the first thing that's happening there is that you haven't got the ball in your hand as you're starting to run in. So you're just going to put it in in haphazard fashion, which is not really good enough. You need to start your run, you need to have your grip, to be the same grip for every delivery, and you need to have your grip set from the moment you turn to come in there. So it's a matter of having the grip there like that with a knuckle on the seam and the two knuckles there down the seam. And when you spin it out of your hand, you start off for the leg break with the back of your hand facing the sky. One of the, one of the things you must understand is what happens to the ball on the way down and why it happens. First moment of delivery is when the back of the hand faces the sky and then to bowl the leg break the back of the hand faces your face and then the ball is going to come out like that right now there's a instantly all the way down there you could see that the seam was in fact pointing towards slip yeah. that's the first time that's happened because you were scrambling the seam it was just going like that all the way down before if you bowl with your eyes looking over your front shoulder at the batsman down there, then you've got a, a real good start because you are now, in your delivery action, going to pivot and that is going to allow you to spin the ball quite sharply. If, on the other hand, you bowl looking on the other side of your arm and not over your front shoulder, you've got nowhere to go. You can't pivot and you're just going to push the ball at the batsman like that. You can't spin it. I defy anyone front on to spin a leg break hard because, as I say, there is nowhere for them to go. You don't uh, get down as far as you would for what you might term proper googly, which is starting your hand facing the sky, same grip, in the same position there, no different. It seems still go that way. But it's all in the positioning of the hand what happens to the ball as it goes out. Leg spinner, because it's back of the hand facing the face, it's spinning that way. Overspinner, sky first, and then facing the batsman, and the ball goes down like that. And wrongen, exactly the same grip, seam pointing that way, back of the hand facing the sky, and then facing the ground, and the ball is pointing in that direction. So it all comes from, the, it's impossible for you to bowl a wrongen with the back of your hand facing your face. Mm. And it's also impossible for you to bowl a leg break if the back of your hand's there. It all depends on the positioning of your hand. Mm. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's, that's as far as you, you need to spin it. You only need subtle variation you don't want uh, outlandish variation because a good batsman's going to pick it anyway. The problem is he's still got to play it. So a uh, small amount of spin like that, landing on the spot and bowled at that pace because you're fairly quick through the air, that I would say is decidedly useful. So there are those three balls and the flipper is the same grip but quite different in execution because the flipper is the only ball that comes out from underneath the hand. The term over the wrist spinner indicates that the ball is going to come out in effect over the wrist. The flipper comes out from underneath like that and it's squeezed out like that so that when it's squeezed out it is spinning around its own axis like that all the way down the pitch and it hits and skids. It doesn't hit and spin away, or it doesn't hit and bounce, but it hits and skids. Right. 
I'll bowl this to you or flip it to you. And you catch it. Just keep your eye on my hand. It's like that. It comes from under there, like that. So same grip, and it's actually spinning sideways as it goes down the pitch. First 20 times I bowled it, it never hit the cut portion. Oh, very good. I know it wasn't straight, but that's excellent. Like a lot of things in cricket, keep it simple and work hard at it. It was the aim to perfect um, the thing, to be able to bowl exactly what I wanted and know within the limitations of uh, what you were doing that uh, it was going to have a chance of being successful.